Souls, it's your boy Grim here, and today we got episode number 10. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Today we got episode number 10 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Mono Ghost Egglock. Finally said it correct. I know I've said it correct a couple times in the past, but uh, nonetheless, today we have the newest episode, and I know we missed the episode yesterday. Um, this was... I was supposed to be able to record for yesterday, but I had a midterm that I had to study for, and it literally just ate up all of my recording time. So I apologize for that, but we're resuming it today. Um, if everything goes correctly, this will be uploaded on Thursday. I just, I don't know <laughs> how long it'll take to edit or whatever. But in the last episode, you guys, we started taking on the third gym, Watson, finally remember his name, uh, and we lost a, a team member, which is super sad. But uh, I did some grinding off screen, and like I said, it, it, it took a little longer than I thought it would, but it made more sense for me to do it because I had to go to a uh, marching band uh, performance for my my brother, and I had another 3DS that I could take there, so that was good. So we'll do a quick team recap for you guys. The grinding montage, I basically just took everybody up to level 20, so we'll start with none other than Buster the Hone Edge, who is the... Uh, he has no guard. I don't know why I'm being so awkward. We have Buster, the Hone Edge with no guard, Shadow Claw, Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, and Aerial Ace. Next up, we got Skull Kid, the Dust Skull with Disable, Shadow Sneak, will o -Wisp, and Fan Attack. Next up, we got Jamie, the Frillish with Bubble Beam, Nightshade, Recover, and Absorb. Then we've got Mr. Dream, Mr. Dream, Mr. Death, excuse me, with Levitate, Confuse Ray, Psywave, Spite, and Astonish. We've got the newest member of the squad, Sika. Sika evolved while I was grinding, and it was kind of weird because I forgot, like, when you evolved the uh, Ninjask or Ninkata. It, Shedinja doesn't have a nickname, so then I had to trek back and give him the nickname that he had before. So this is Sika, the Shedinja with Wonder Guard, and the moveset Shadow Claw, Fury Swipes, Thief, and Sand Attack. And then, last but not least, we have Rotom, Luca the Rotom, with Levitate as the ability Uproar, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, and Confuse Right. Now, the moves are different, like, um... Buster has Shadow Claw, and so does Sika. Shadow Claw was a TM that I found while I was, um grinding in the cave on Duford. So that's where we got Shadow Claw, which is good. Um, so today we're going to take on the third gym leader, and I guess we can just start there. I don't really know how else we can start off the episode better. Um, but I also, when we beat this gym, um, I'm just going to say this now, the we have to use Rock Smash in the next location, and I really don't want to teach my Pokemon Rock Smash if I don't need to. So I want you guys to tell me that if it's cool for you, since we've already got it hard enough playing with just ghost types, if I could not teach them any um, electric type moves, that would be amazing. Um, so for this episode, we're going to use a Zigzagoon that I caught um, as one of the tokens for the eggs. Um, we're just going to use that to use Rock Smash um, to get further on in the game, and if you want me to just teach Rock Smash to Hone Edge, which is the only Pokemon that can learn it, and that would really diminish his moveset, you can go ahead and just tell me to do that, and I will do that in the next episode, and it's like nothing ever happened, but for now, I'm just going to take the safe road, um, in case you guys decide to say that that's okay, um, but we're going to hop up right into this, <clears throat> and... I'm actually kind of nervous, <laughs> like, like, I'm going to be completely honest. Now, I think... <clears throat> Excuse me, he should not be able to touch Sika. He should not be able to touch Sika at all. And with Shadow Claw, Fury Swipes is eh. Oh, we got Thief as well. I taught him Thief. And he's got Sand Attack. So Sand Attack could come in clutch. Shadow Claw is probably going to be the best bet because it's a Shadow type. It's got a boost. And it's got a high chance to crit. So that could be really nice. Um, otherwise, Luke can take the Electric type attacks. Um, Mr. Death, I don't know, Jamie definitely not, Skull Kid maybe, and then Buster resists electricity, so, um, I think I'm gonna lead with, I'm gonna lead with Buster, or I'm sorry, Sika. I'm gonna switch Sika in first. Um, so we're gonna save one more time here, and then we're just gonna hop up into this. The only reason why I'm going with Sika, of course, is because it's got Wonder Guard. Oh my gosh, excuse me, I don't know why I'm, ah, oh. I haven't recorded in forever, so. Kind of, kind of, uh, kind of fresh-minded, and I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. So, well, without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and just get into this battle. So, Watson is one of my favorite gym leaders in this in this region. Oh. 
Oh, now what are you doing here? What? You say you've gotten past all my rigid doors? <laughs> now that's amusing. The plans to remove... To the, oh my gosh, excuse me. The plans to reform Marvel aren't done for now. Making traps for my gym and battling with young trainers like you are the things I live for now. Then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to hop up into this. Oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. The only thing that I think I have to worry about is Sonic Boom. Because this gets Sonic Boom. Fun story. And if we hit ourselves in confusion, there's no way that he's living. We are a level higher. This is going to be so risky, but I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for the Sand Attack. Okay, so we outspeed. That's good. We, out, we outspeed. We outspeed. That's good. Thunder Wave. I avoided the attack. Good, 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 good. Alright, we're going to go for the uh, Shadow Claw here. Did you guys see that damage? Yo, Sika. I'm actually glad we're using you here because we're not going to be able to use you in the next gym. Because the next gym is... Why would you withdraw? Anyway, whatever. Um, because the next gym is fire type and that would wreck your life. <sighs> That's kind of wild. Alright, now... <laughs> Explosion doesn't check typing. I just remembered that. Explosion doesn't check typing. So let's go ahead and check who has the highest defenses. 27 and 18. 47 and 44. 35, 45. 32, 43. 54 and 28. 46 and 37. Okay, I think that our best switch in is Buster, and we can hit him with Shadow Claws from this guy as well. Um, but good job, Sika. You really put in the work already. You've dealt some major damage, so you can go ahead and sit back. Watson use Super Potion. That's, that was kind of predictable. I could have easily just went for a Shadow Claw there, but it's fine. That is a-okay. Uh, we're going to go for a Shadow Claw here. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, Buster is level 22, it's not level 20, because when I was training Sika up, I had to switch it with something, so over time, he just gathered a couple more experience points than the rest. So, Magnemite goes, there is one of his three Mons, now I know that he has a Magneton as well, so we gotta look out for that. Send out Voltorb, would you like to switch? Um, I would say yeah, but I don't want to waste a turn healing Sika from Paralysis. In case of an explosion, because it literally only has one HP. We're just going for Shadow Claw here. Charge. I don't really see that doing anything for you. I'm going to take a sip of my orange juice. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak. Take this Voltorb out real quick here. And with this, we can move on. So, like, during the grinding montage, a lot of things happened. I actually found a couple of uh, Mega Stones that we can't use because they're not of the ghost type. So I was trying to find the Sableye Knight in case we encountered a Sableye. Um, or got one out of an egg, excuse me. We can't encounter anything. I'm going to go for a uh, Shadow Claw. Supersonic. See, this is what I was worried about with Sika. So I'm glad we're not using Sika right now because that would kind of stink. Um, if we hit ourselves in confusion, we'd take ourselves out. All right, well, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a, hmm. Okay, I think we can eat one hit, so I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. No! Oh my gosh.
Why did I think we could live a Volt Switch? That is a fully evolved Pokemon, only one level beneath. And it's Stab. Yeah, it was neutral, but it was Stab, so... I really don't know why I thought we could live that, but... I was wrong, obviously. Uh, we're gonna go out into Skull Kid here. Oh my gosh. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. I'm gonna go for Disable. Please eat it. Thank you. I'm actually so sad right now. Alright, well we're gonna go for... I did buy a crap ton of Super Potions. Because of the money that we got from grinding, so... Just gonna go ahead and heal up. Great! Now I'm confused again. I know you got, like, Magnet Bomb as well, so... I'm gonna, like, tread with caution, but I'm gonna go with... Yep, see, there's Magnet Bomb. We should be fine. Yeah, no, we're fine. Alright, please land it. Come on! Okay, I'm gonna go for it again. We should live another Magnet Bomb. If you get a crit, I'm going to scream. Yes! Oh my gosh, come on, yo. Can we not do this right now? You're on one, you're on your last Mon. We already lost a team member. Please don't do this. Supersonic, again. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't understand. Whatever. 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 Oh, and now you're not disabled anymore. Yay. Don't hit yourself. Thank you. It's about time. Okay. Now, predicting, predicting the Volt Switch, I'm going to go into Luke. It's resisted. Too bad he doesn't have, like, Lightning Rod or something. Yeah, that'd be so broken at this point in the game. Good, 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 good. All right. So, you're going to go for that. Now, I've got Confuse Ray on this thing, so you can go ahead and catch the finest of Confuse Rays. And then I'm just going to uproar. I know it's not the strongest move, but I'm just going to uproar. I, I don't want to lose anything. So now you're burned. You're confused. Hit yourself. Yes. Okay. Guys, like, I'm... <laughs> it's like, it actually feels a little weird playing this now because I played the Sun and Moon demo. So, like, all those new animations and stuff are what I'm used to. Uh, you can, if I, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. Um, but like, I can't wait for that game to come out. If you guys haven't checked it out already, I live streamed it, so the videos are not like, like my usual content, because they're from my Twitch stream. So, uh, but go ahead and check those out. There are two parts, there's the first half and the second half. Um, they're really, really cool. And yeah, I guess that's really all I wanted to say about that. Um, I'm trying to get, I just bought an Ethernet port, or an Ethernet cable, rather, excuse me, for my computer. Um, because I was, I realized that, like, my bandwidth wasn't strong enough because I wasn't getting direct feed from my router. Um, so that's why my streams were, um, being all insanely bad, losing 11,000 frames. So, hopefully, uh, with the, wah, I lost, something like that. Um, hopefully with the new Ethernet cable that I get, I'll be able to stream better for the Sun and Moon release. Uh, I was electrified by you, now take this badge! I was electrified. Yo, dude, this badge, though. Dynamo badge. With the Dynamo badge, Pokemon can use the HM Rock Smash outside of battle. One other thing. Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you now, even if you get them from trade. Or something like that. Alrighty, then. This is for you, too. Go ahead and take it with you. Oh, okay, sweet. So we have Volt Switch. Now, this is a great move to teach Rotom. It's a great move to teach Rotom. Alright. Let's actually see... Because we, we know that he can learn it. You can't learn Volt Switch? I click Shadow Claw. Never mind. 
<laughs> I was like, that makes literally no sense. Like, I've used a Rotom with Volt Switch before. And, and then I was like, how c could... And I realized I was on the wrong move, because I was like, wait, Shedinja doesn't know it, and it says that it's learned. I Things are weird. Alright, we're just gonna get rid of Thundershock, because Uproar can still kind of be good against, like, Ground-type Pokemon and stuff like that, so it's, uh, better not to get rid of that just yet until we get a better move for it, and you can't learn Shadow Claw, which sucks. Uh, so yeah, um, Honedge is the only Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash, but, like I said, for now, we're just gonna use... Excuse me, we're gonna use a different Mon. Now, also, during the grinding montage, I caught, um, some Pokemon from the route to the left to the right and above um, this city so we can hatch some more eggs and I also manually made all of the eggs go down to very minimal amounts of steps so we're gonna go ahead and first we have to we have to do the thing we have to do the thing we have to do the thing I guess it doesn't matter now if Buster knows Rock Smash or not because it's dead <sighs> Not really? Oh no, not Buster. Uh, Alright, well, let's get up to hatching these eggs. So yeah, like I said, I made all of these eggs down to like the most minimal amount of steps that I could without hatching them. Uh, they do still have a couple of steps on them, but we have a level 10 Magikarp, a level 15 Magikarp, and a level 14 Zigzagoon to trade out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the random number generator, and I actually think I... Accidentally put that binder away, so I've got to walk away from the computer screen for a second so I can get it. Um, random number generator. Okay, so we have how many eggs do we have? We have, uh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We have 23 eggs, so 1, 2, 23. We're going to generate. And we've got number 7. Did we already pull number 7? Yes, we did. We're going to generate. Number 12. We already got number 12. 2. Got it. 16. That's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No, we do not have 16 yet. So we are going to pull number 16 for the level 10 Magikarp. Let me just go ahead and drop this level 10 Magikarp right up in here. And now I got to get that binder because I got to remember what the name is. So give me uno momento. Guys, I'm a professional YouTuber. Did you know that? Just kidding. Uh, number 16 comes from my buddy Howlin' Porcupine, and its nickname is going to be Windy. So I kind of already think I know what this is going to be. But I might be wrong, I don't know, but I'm just guessing that since its name is Windy, it's going to be a Drifloon. So this will be level 10. Only got a couple steps left. There it is. Alright, 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 alright. Level 10, Windy. What are you going to be? What are you going to be? I, I was right, it is a Drifloon. Awesome. I, You know, actually, now that I think about it, I've never used a Drifloon in any Pokemon game that I've ever played. Like, I think I've I've caught a couple because I, I encountered a shiny Drifblim in Pokemon X and Y, but I've never actually used one before. So this is going to be nicknamed uh, Windy. Awesome. So thank you so much for sending that in. We're going to level this guy up and check, or level this girl up and check out her moveset. So let's get some rare candies up in this. Level 2. Level 3. Level 4. Astonish. Level 5. Level 6. Level 7. Level 8, learn Gust, level 9, and level 10. Awesome. So I'm going to check my phone because it keeps vibrating. And now that that's done, we go ahead and back out of this, check out its moveset. All right, Wendy, level 10. What is your moveset looking like, girl? 
We got Constrict, Minimize, Astonish, and Gust with the Unburden ability. <gasps> this thing has Unburden? I didn't know that. I did not know that. So we got Windy, the level 10 Drifloon. <sighs> Let's see what number we pull up next. Random number generate. Basically anything higher than 18 will work. 21! Actually, 18 and up will work, so... Alright, so Drifloon, or Windy, you're gonna be put in here. So we got 21, that's 18... 19, 20, 21. So you will be switched out for a level 15 Magikarp. And 21... Where's the binder go? There it is. Wow, guys, I'm really professional! Did you know that? Uh, number 21 comes from Z and Ursa, and its nickname is gonna be Argon. 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 That's an element. So this will be level 15, Argon. What are you going to be? I feel like it's going to be like... I don't know, dude. Argon. That's, it sounds like some sort of metal-based, and the only metal ghost type I can think of is uh, another Honedge. So will we get a Honedge? I don't know why, for some reason, it resonates with metal to me. Not really sure why Argon is doing that, but it is. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm so congested. But I guess that hatching the eggs will end off the episode if this thing actually wants to hatch, and it does. So we have Argon from Z and Ursa. What are you going to be? And you'll be level 15. Are my are my are my am I right? Oh! <laughs> It's another Drifloon! That's funny. Um, okay, so this thing will be named Argon. Let me just type that in here real quick. Alright, so now we got Argon, the level 15 Drifloon. Let's go ahead and level this guy up. Level 2. So guys, over the last four days, get this, over the last four days, I've watched, actually no, it's been like, it's almost been, it's almost been a week now, excuse me, it's almost been a week now, uh, yeah, we'll replace it with Gus just to see what moves that you have, I'll get back to my story in a second, you have clear smog? Pump of special mud, all stats are returned to normal, that could be kind of nice, it's got minimize, constrict again, and astonish. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of Constrict because I don't really like that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of that move unless it's Gen 1. So, But yeah, over the past week, I watched the ninth season of Big Bang Theory, the second season of Flash, and I just finished the fourth season of Arrow last night. So I've been in binge watching an insane amount of TV over the past couple of days. Level 13. And I guess that'll be the question of the day is what is your favorite television show? I don't mean anime or any cartoon. Like what is your favorite live action show? Um, level 14 and level 15. So that'll be the question of the day. It'll obviously already be on the layout. Um, I, I want to know what you guys' favorite shows are. Favorite shows are? Favorite show? What is your favorite show? I want to know what your favorite shows are. Um, personally, my favorite live action, like with actual people, um, my favorite show is Friends. Without it, with like hands down. It's my favorite show. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take Argon here. We're going to drop you right next to Windy. You guys, Windy and Argon. I would say somebody makes some graphics and like t-shirt design about that, but if you guys want, I could do that and we can have like a campaign for it. Um, Alright, next up, we've got one more egg and I think that'll be enough for this episode. We've got, it just generated 21 again. 5, no. 15, no. 15, no. 5, no. 5, no. What is up with this thing? Okay, so we got number 20. Number 20, which will be replaced with the level 14 Zigzagoon. And number 20, I believe, comes from Xeonursa as well. 
It does indeed, and its name is Ezdeath. So, I don't know what this could be. I was already wrong with my last prediction, so I don't really want to guess this time. All I know is you're going to be level 14. He he was telling me about something with one of his um, Pokemon. Actually, I'm going to save right here in case this is the Mon that he was telling me about. Um, because I remember he was telling me about a Pokemon... Okay, he told me that he, he basically told me that he sent me a snow run because it has to be female in order to evolve into a um, a uh, oh my gosh a frostlass. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I literally, just I can't speak and I can't think. Okay, so as death, and I'll have to like um, soft reset in a sense to get a female out of the egg. Uh, so if it's a male, we'll just stop recording. Okay, it is the snow run. I was right. Okay, so this is the snow run. If you are not female, um, I'm gonna end off the episode here and just go back and do it, because this is a 20 minute, 26 minute episode already, so, uh, oh, you are a male. That kind of makes me upset. I'm gonna name you as Death. Awesome. And with all that being said, <coughs> I'm not gonna bother rare canning it up right now, uh, but we will check out its moveset. Excuse me. It's got Powder Snow, Leer, Fake Tears, and Disable. So, it kind of makes me upset that it wasn't a, a female the first time around. But I'm not going to bother leveling it up because I've already got a soft reset to get the female. I will do that off screen, though, to take up less of your time. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do consider leaving a right dating, a right dating, a like rating down below. You guys know your support is greatly appreciated. Also, leave a comment answering the question of the day. I really want to know what your guys' favorite TV show is with actual people. I don't mean cartoons and all that stuff. So, like... Anything like the Two Broke Girls or like uh, How I Met Your Mother, that's another really good show. Like The Office, The Middle, whatever. Whatever's your favorite show, let me know in the comment section down below. Hashtag bars. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, join the dark side. But I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, peace.